Hello, welcome to the Daily Stock Market Analysis. My name is Lucky Johnson and of course, if you are just joining us, I assure you, you are going to really have a wonderful time even into this analysis. So we are going to be looking at uh, Wednesday's analysis. Actually, this is Wednesday, 29th May, 2024. By the way, if you are new, there are links in the description of this video where you can watch the analysis for 28th, 27th, um, 24th, 23rd, down to, I think, 20th. And there are many more um, stock market videos that you can actually watch to um, enhance your knowledge, actually. But for this video, we are looking at the market analysis for Wednesday, 29th, May, 2024. All right, so this is my email right here. Um, subscribe to the investor mailing list. All right, and I get this daily update. Okay, so um, so let's see the focus for today. Like I will always say, we're looking at top traders, gainers, and losers. All right, so let's see that right here. So um, first on the list of top traders, we have Access Holdings, of course, Access Bank, with a total of one billion naira. And assets actually gained 0.88% today. And then we have this um, Abe. I think Abe actually, it's a, it's a mortgage bank or so. Yeah. All right. So second on that, having a total um, investment fund from shareholders of 622 million naira. And, you know, the coincidence um, about this um, Abe um, shares is that it appears as one of the top traders and then number one on the list of top gainers actually and this this actually really happens but when it does of course that's that's something to actually look at for all right so you may want to pay attention to this particular company's shares in the next couple of days and maybe in the next couple of weeks okay so third on the list we have uba now remember i shared in my last analysis and I mentioned uh, that the banking sector actually at the moment is, is a very forceful sector. How do I mean? Because of the latest CBN um, capital-based demand of 500 billion naira from 50 billion naira, the banks are actually out looking for a lot of funds from existing shareholders and then new investors who care to buy their shares. And what is actually the hook a decline in the price of their shares so they constantly decline it usually on a daily basis probably a few cases have actually you know seen where we um a, a bank a bank's um, um share value actually increases like in the case of uba right now we have 1.83 percent for today all right and that is amazing actually okay so a lot of people are pumping money into the banking sector and I advise you keep watching the banking sector, especially the mega banks, First Bank, UBA, GT Bank, Access Bank, and Zenit Bank. Keep watching these five, all right? And then once you notice that there, there is a kind of reversal movement, like from the constant decline, they have started moving upward, then that may be the time to actually buy. Because eventually, once they are able to pay up the capital base, then it's actually going to be an upward and forward movement, actually. So... Let's go to gainers here. I'm a bit fast because I don't want us to waste too much time on this analysis. All right. So this is Abe on the top of the gainers list with 9.76%. All right. And then we have Nascon actually with 9.66%. Now, um, the investment app that I actually use gives me the signal every time, like every moment when I log in, it's showing me the signal, like the performance of the shares, the top gainers, the top losers, and all of them, the top traders, at the moment, in the morning, in the afternoon. So I noticed that Nascon was doing well in the morning, and then I had to buy, I think um, I, I bought about, that should be, I think, um, that should be 10,000, I think I bought 10,000 units of Nascon. Is that 10,000? No, 1,000 units of Nascon, actually. And I actually made some gains today, yeah. But then I had to also buy 10,000 units of Morrison Industries PLC. I've been talking about Morrison's 
uh, Morrison Industries PS shares um, for a couple of weeks now. Yes, if you have been following my videos, my stock market analysis, you will notice I shared a video. I won't, I'm going to drop the link in the description of this particular video where Morrison PSC gained 145.1% in just 22 days in April, between 1st to 22nd of April, 2024. So third on the list of top gainers, we have FCMB with 9.63%. And then losers, Jais Bank, 6.52% loss. And then Tantalizers, 6% loss. And then we have NPF, I think that would be Nigerian Police Force, Microfinance, whatever, 5.88% loss. All right, so you can look through all of this and take note, it is not just enough to come through all of these analyses and then just store up the knowledge. The idea here is that begin to watch whatever stock you want to buy begin to watch that company's shares the performance for the next few days maybe seven days or more and then if you notice that that particular company's shares um the value keeps you know performing well then it's simply a signal for you to actually buy it is a signal for you to actually buy but if the company shares um performs well today and tomorrow is declining next tomorrow is performing well and therefore the next three days is declining then that may be another signal for you to just hold on for the next couple of days or weeks watch it before you pull up um, your investment actually all right so i believe you are you are getting value from this stock market analysis yes i upload videos every single day every single day so if you want if you want to get notified each time i upload videos like this click on the subscribe button right now turn on the notification bell so that youtube will always notify you immediately i upload a video like this all right and of course um there are a lot of links in this video make sure you watch all of the analysis from um 28 down to 27 down to 24 23 22nd down just watch everything and then I believe it's going to actually improve your knowledge about the stock market. All right. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to see you in my next video. Ciao.